Today we will be testing the Smooth Hakanashi Indicator. Before we do, if you have not watched the first videos on the channel and the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. You can find a link down below to sign up for TradingView. If you use that link, you'll save a little bit of money on your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. If you are interested in a full list of all the indicators and strategies that we have tested along with their win rates, you can sign up for our Patreon and you will receive a full list of all the indicators and strategies that we have tested. You can find a link to our Patreon down below in the description. We also have a Patreon only exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators, a list of winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. Alright, as I said today, we will be testing the Smooth Hakanashi Indicator. Before we do though, wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 97 different strategies, with 28 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve an 84% win rate. We've also tested a total of 928 indicators with 385 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We've also retested in the advanced testing 108 of the winning indicators. 39 of them have been able to maintain the winning status, the best two, a 76% win rate. Now keep in mind that we test most of these indicators and strategies on the Forex and crypto market, but they can be applied to just about any market and time frame universally. Okay, so today we're testing the Smooth Hakanashi Indicator. You can see it here on the bottom of the screen. So I did make a few modifications to this. Um, so the first thing that I did was I moved it down here to a, a new pane down below. And so it typically looks like this right here. And so it is mixed in with the price action. So what I did was clicked on the three dots here, went to move to and new pane below, drops it down here. The next thing that I did was I clicked on the settings here. We're going to leave the inputs just on the default, but we are going to go in and make a few visual changes here. So on the bodies, we're going to turn both these colors up to 100% there. And on the wicks, we're going to turn those down to 0% there. It just makes everything just look a little bit cleaner and more vibrant here. And so the source video claims that this particular indicator, the smooth Hakanashi, uh, is uh, 10 times better than the standard Hakanashi. And then goes in to explain um, kind of how the Hakanashi candles work and how they um, help to kind of filter out the noise in the market. And typically the Hakanashi candle is actually a setting for the candle itself. And so we change it to uh, the Hakanashi right here under uh, the uh, different candle setting here. And so once you do that, it actually then turns the candles themselves into Hakanashi candles. And you have a few other different options you can use as well. Uh, but the Hakanashi candles typically, like I said, work to kind of smooth out the noise in the market. You can see that it's kind of displaying a little bit more of a consistent uh, when price is moving up, it's green. When price is moving down, it's red, just consistent kind of coloration throughout the trend movements. Now, one of the downfalls of the Hakanashi candle uh, is that it can be quite a bit deceiving. And so if you're not looking at the standard price action with the Hakanashi at the same time, uh, there are moments where price moves quite dramatically in one direction or another. And the Hakanashi candle doesn't really display that information visually very well. 
Um, alternatively, there are instances where it looks like the Hakanashi candle really price is really moving with the Hakanashi candle, like a really huge move. And then when you actually pull it up on actual price action, you can see that the price action moved almost nowhere. And so visually when testing on videos, it's easy for people to pull up and just kind of point to how great the Hakanashi looks and how well it is doing. But then when you actually drill down into it, um, it can be like say quite a bit deceiving. So what we're looking for is going to be just the coloration shift in the candles. When the colors switch to red, the candles switch to red, that's going to be a signal to go short. When they switch to green, that's going to be a signal to go long. So we're going to keep it pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of it. Alright, the first signal that we pick up is a long signal. You can see that we get the coloration shift there from red to green there, and we get a decent little push to the upside, enough to get us to our take profit anyway. So let's go ahead and continue on. All right, the next signal that we pick up is a short signal. Again, we get that coloration shift from the green to the red here. We get a little bit of a pullback, got uh, somewhat close to our stop, but didn't trigger it before it then rolls over. Makes this nice push to the downside there, getting us to our take profit once again. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the testing, that way things don't get too long, and we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that puts us at the end of the testing right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, if you are looking for a profitable trading strategy, I highly suggest you check out the best strategy that we have tested on the channel here. It was able to achieve an 84% win rate. I'll put a screenshot up of the thumbnail to that video right now. I'll link to it up in the corner and I'll also link to it at the end of this video with that same thumbnail. Like I said, it is a highly profitable trading strategy, was able to achieve an 84% win rate. It uses one of our custom indicators that we've developed here on the channel, as well as a trading view indicator. And all around, it is a wonderful trading strategy. I highly recommend you check that out. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel. I highly recommend it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here. Get it scroll back. All right, let's go ahead and count it out and see what we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven trades in the one year's time and we have one, two, three, and four for winning trades. So that's barely gonna miss the 60% criteria that we are looking for. And so um, all in all, is this 10 times better? I think what the source video said, 10, 10 times better than the standard Hakanashi. Um, honestly, I would say so. Um, I've always been extremely unimpressed with the Hakanashi candles. I'm sure there's, you know, ways to use it once you kind of get used to it. Um, but all in all, I feel like the Hakanashi candles are extremely deceiving, like I said in the beginning of the video. And so I feel like this is a nice, happy medium to filter out some of that noise, but also without being so um, visually kind of deceiving in the way it functions. And so giving people false hope and allowing for um, kind of BS videos on the Hakanashi candles and how well they work. And so um, I would say that, like I said, it is considerably better than their standard Hakanashi. It's a little bit quick to kind of jump 
uh, on trends one direction or another. I guess maybe a little slow depending on how you look at it, but for the most part, it did a really decent job of catching these uh, different trend moves. And so I think um, all around, it is a very good improvement to the Hakanashi and would do well to just kind of have this on screen as maybe an extra filter or something like that. So unfortunately though, it is going to have to go on the no list and we'll move on to the next video from here. Thank you.